Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you all to go and have afternoon tea here in Spain. I'm living in Palma de Mallorca which I have been for a little while now and I decided I'm going to do a little bit of research to find where I can have some traditional afternoon tea here. So as you know I've been having afternoon tea in the UK for a few years and I just love the occasion so I wanted to see how they do it here in Spain. The hotel that I'll be going to is called Castillo Son Vida and it is a beautiful traditional hotel. I wanted to kind of compare to see how it fares to afternoon tea in the UK, what are the differences and whether or not it is worth coming here to have afternoon tea. So come along and let's have some afternoon tea. Alrighty, so I'm at the taxi rink. They're usually waiting somewhere out here. All right, here I am at the hotel. It is really windy, so I do apologize, but I'll keep it really quick and short. I just wanted to show you how it is out here. So the hotel itself is so elegant. So if you were staying here, then that is definitely a plus. Okay, so what am I wearing today? So I've got this jacket on. I feel like my look has become quite uh, Mallorcan inspired since living here. I've got this jacket, just a simple jumper as it's a little bit chilly today. So suede jacket and then I've tied around my neck this lovely scarf and then just contrasting white trousers and white shoes as well. This is more than appropriate for a casual afternoon tea setting. It is not going to be so dressy at this afternoon tea so it's always good to keep that in mind, the atmosphere of the place that you're going to. As we've spoken to before you can dress up, it really depends on the venue so it's always good to scope on pictures or even ask the venue um, what the attire is going to sort of be so yeah so this is the outfit and now let's dive in and have some afternoon tea so the early history of the Son Vida begins in the 13th century when King James the first of Aragon conquered Mallorca in 1229 and then later on, the subsequent owners of the aristocratic Desmas e Trios families retained the name. But it wasn't until much later that they underwent some renovations. The outside was originally quite rustic, but there was a lot of opulence within the inside once the new owners had come about. So they changed the outside to make it look a little bit more cohesive and give it that castle-like experience that we see here today. it actually became a hotel in 1957. So all the selection of the teas where you are asked on arrival which tea you want and here is the selection. I'm a big fan of Rubus but when I have afternoon tea I like something black. So. I'm thinking maybe vanilla or even, what were you thinking of? Darjeeling. Darjeeling, oh, we love Darjeeling. Maybe, hmm. Oh gosh, I don't know. I could do Darjeeling springtime because they actually have Darjeeling springtime and spring Darjeeling. Oh, and that's another one. So we've gone for the spring Darjeeling. Sometimes you can choose two teas, but we'll start off with this one. I ended up getting um, Robos, vanilla Robos as well. That's the Darjeeling, because I like to have two teas. Sorry, my no, no, go for it. Uh, I got a Philadelphia cheese for fruit uh, jelly and orange jelly. And orange jelly, and this is the star of the yes. show. 
Wow, look at that. <laughs> what is the bird? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. Okay, I start so for the last down floor. Down the bottom. Yes, um, this is a turkey with the four fruit jelly, uh -huh. salmon and sour cream. Yeah. Ha some, it's a ham and cheese sandwich ham and, and cheese. also egg oh, and mustard. Oh, beautiful, yes. I was going to say egg sandwich. In the second sandwich. floor, in the middle, you can find uh, two creme brulee, two scones. Two uh, cakes with uh, coffee and chocolate, uh -huh. and uh, this side the peanut brownie. Oh, peanut brownie, lovely! And in the top, and finally, uh, you have the pineapple, mango, and uh, coconut shots, uh -huh. and mini carrot cakes. Beautiful! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. So it's quite quite different the selection that we have. So we've got a few sandwiches, as we saw, and I do think that these are gonna be very filling. So I'm kind of choosing what I'm going to have that's not gonna completely fill me up before I get to try everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a sandwich first. I feel like it when the sandwiches are fresh. One of the scones. So we just grab it off the plate, not too fussy and then breaking it down the middle. Perfect halves. Now, I just wanna sort of, gotta sort them with jams, but I love to do the jam first. So simply just grabbing a good amount. Like so. I think that's enough. And then also do the same. This isn't just general cream, is it? It's um, sour cream. It's like a sour cream, slightly salty. Okay. It's not what you would think, is it? I think it's definitely a lot saltier than traditional like ricotta or sour cream. Or even whipped cream, I think it's quite different to whipped cream as well. I'm gonna go for this one next because I'm getting quite full and I'm not sure which one I wanna have. I think maybe yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish everything, so it might be good to get a doggy bag. Would you pass me the black tea? I might have a little bit of black tea there. I think I prefer your black tea. Try this peanut one. Yeah, you would think so. It's like I think maybe because it's quite cropped. I think it's because it's only doing short, short bursts of it, maybe not the whole. Mm. Yours is nice, but I prefer the black tea. With this amount of sweet, I think that's why. I swear I always do that. I get like a sweet tea, then I realise that I don't want it. Well, it's not really it's sweet. sweet. It's not sweet. It's, it's vanilla, but it's uh, not. Um, it's not definitely not sweet. Mm. It's almost just right down the middle, but not savoury. Mm. I think we've done really well, considering, mm. like, eating quite a lot. I think I, I didn't eat the full one of this, and I couldn't eat that. 
I can't even eat more. I definitely think that that's quite good. Do you want that? No, I can't. That's a little dry too. <clears throat> Look, I can't I feel like I can eat anything else. Okay. And um, I'll, I'll have a bite of both of them. That one's nice. That one's nice. Peanut butter is good. I do like this. But I want to eat more. I have to try and eat this one. Yeah, so I can espresso. Good to have on your top. Yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Thank you. It's quite chocolatey, that one, though, but the peanuts balance it, so I like it. The peanuts are quite good. I'll just have one bite of this. <laughs> You have to try it. You have to try at least everything. Except for that, you don't have to try that. <coughs> mm. Do you like it? I do. <laughs> I'm glad I do. That was, that was basically that. It was like he wanted to, he was like, yeah, they're really nice, they're really nice. And I just got to a point where it's like, mm, hang on, something's going on. It could have even been like in his tummy, it was just something to make him feel a bit off. And then that's what happened. Even plain food all the time, maybe you probably wouldn't react with your body. Yeah, very exactly. Well. That's, that's what I think as well. Yeah, they put sick people on plain food. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, the hospital I used to do that actually. Kind of the hospital, yeah. When I had those meals when I was in there with my leg, they were plain. <laughs> They're weird though. Pie mash. Pie mash. Like yeah. cottage pie. Yeah, they they love cottage pie. It was actually pie. all right though. I think it's an older generation that it's still tastes it around. Right. Right. Cottage pie it hasn't gone out. Yeah, it was like cottage it's pie. It's not something you'd see though. They had it in Australia. That's not something you'd always see at a restaurant, is it? No, why would you have it in a hospital? Yeah, you, this is the only place you have it. You don't eat it anywhere else. But in the UK, it makes more sense because it's more of a traditional food to have there. I yeah, guess. Culture. So I finished afternoon tea now. How would I rate this afternoon tea? I will talk a little bit about what we had. So the afternoon tea had the three tier system, which is very traditional. However, I decided to mix and match today and the reason being is that some of the finger sandwiches were actually buns so they can be quite dense and I find that if you have too many finger sandwiches at the start of your afternoon tea then it does tend to fill you up and not leave any room for the desserts. So I just had the egg and the ham and cheese first and then I switched to the scone and after the scones you usually get quite full as well and then after the scone had a few sweets and then went back to the sandwiches so it does make a little bit of a mess on your plate but remember when you're at afternoon tea you can always request to have your plates changed tops up or for more tea or if there's anything that you really enjoyed i'm sure most places will be happy to bring out secondary pieces 
for your setting. It's quite quiet here, so it's very relaxed and they're more than happy to accommodate you. So I really love the service here. Always top tier at afternoon teas in London. So it's much the same here. Really did enjoy that aspect as well. The tea was fantastic quality, really high quality teas that they have here at this afternoon tea. So I definitely recommend. As far as the sweets and the sandwiches, I would probably give them an eight out of 10. Shh, I said I was gonna do it, but I definitely did enjoy them. And I don't think you'll be disappointed if you came here for afternoon tea. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my tea and I will see you next time.